Hey guys, we're back another weekend and uh, it's been a couple weeks since I got to work on the 58 wagon. Uh, last time we left off, wasted a bunch of time thinking I was gonna use the old transmission. Bad idea. Don't do that. If you know it's wrong, fix it. So, well, now I got this. New transmission rebuilt by my guy, Miguel. Thank you. And uh, today, we're gonna put it in. We got ourselves here a blank slate. So you can see, clean the frame rail off. I think that's round three. We have all the brackets off of here. Notch for a little more clearance up here and down there. Transmission, blank slate. I'm going to dress up the transmission, uh, put the low car shifter back on it, get things ready to go back in. Get it in, get the transmission mounts. Then I can put the exhaust back where it is. I just cut it so that I can tilt the motor and plus it was binding a little bit anyway. So get that in there and see what we got. Okay, so starting to put together a 4060 here. And uh, I got my old old car shifter. I'm gonna move this handle location back a little bit and um, see if we can get more dashboard clearance because this transmission is going up higher, so. But, see, there is a massive hole. That'll be next. I'm gonna get this guy on there, move that shifter back, and uh, everything will be better. I hope, let's do that. All right, so I took this low car shifter and we just moved it from this forward position, moved it back a notch to get roughly that much clearance in there. It was just getting a little close up here by the dash. This will give us a little more room and uh, hopefully that'll be it. Worst case, move it back more. We got lots of adjustment here. So now let's throw it on the transmission. Guys, got the shift, got the transmission in place here. Put it up above, it is hitting the floor. I'm gonna move this shifter location back a little bit to the next notch. And then, cause the uh, handle here is hitting the dash now that it goes up so high. But after the pre-fit, it looks really good. So pull that shifter off, adjust it, move it back up, and then I can make some cross member again. see that but we have much more clearance above shifter handle transmission sitting really nice in here now it's actually right at the frame rail where it should have been to begin with uh, everything is clearanced it's looking good we got lots of room around everything so I'm gonna build some brackets here for the cross member 
get those tacked in place so it can be on its own weight. Once that's done, put the dry wing back in it. We got to button up the exhaust, change that around a little bit. Yeah, and then we do a transmission floor after that. It's, uh, it's a, lot, a lot of work going backwards, but I feel a lot better about it. Let's, uh, let's get this transmission mounted. about buttoned up or more or less we're leaving off where we left off in the last video where I was buttoning up things this time drive lines back in cross members back in mounted up higher cleaned up all the frame rails the transmission pan is sitting really nice now about time torque converter is bolted up trans lines are in shifter is adjusted so that it doesn't hit the dash I gotta make some shift linkage. I need to get a longer rod for this, which I have. Um, but I think we're about done under here, other than I need to reconnect the exhaust here. When I moved the engine up, it was just getting too dang tight to the frame. So not a big deal. I'll make a new piece for that. And then we'll move on to the inside of the car, which as you can see, got myself a little hole here to fill, but uh, Shifter, perfect place. I'm happy with that. Um, just gotta build a tunnel to cover that. Should probably also give you guys a sneak peek of uh, the interior. So the interior in this car wasn't too bad. It wasn't too good either. Now we have an in-house upholstery, uh, Max, and uh, we decided, why not? Let's do something different for the interior here. So I'll give you a little sneak peek. All right, so here's a good piece show brace yourself for this unconventional a little weird but i think it'll work out good i'm excited to see it all together we got this guy i went with a gray square weave carpet we binded the edges on it we'll also get the carpet obviously throughout the car went with this tooled pattern this little flowery whatever some more gray some light gray piping but this stripe here We'll kind of carry out through the car like this and then end in the back and this will all be solid carpet door it's gonna be pretty cool i think it'll be different so yeah uh, check out this grandma is gonna be jealous it's all me anyway guys uh thanks for joining me again this time sorry about the redundancy i didn't mean to Pull that transmission out i knew it was going to happen but it's done i feel better it's sitting better it's rebuilt one last thing to deal with i'll get the carpet or sorry backing up i'll get the tunnel done and then the carpet and the rest of the interior can go together so jeremiah has been kicking butt on the wiring that is just about done as well getting closer should be making some noise here pretty soon so probably a few more weekends of thrashing my goal has changed a few times. I'd like to drive it before the snow flies. The snow is just about here. As long as I can drive it, you know, I just wanna drive it. The, the thing is, you just gotta keep moving forward on it. Uh, you're gonna run into stuff, just keep moving forward. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Next time.